Today, we're gonna go take a close look at all of the family-friendly parks in Lakewood. Let's check this out. The City of Lakewood's Parks and Recreation is doing a fantastic job with all of their public parks and a private park, I will get to that one today too. But for all of the public parks that they have for everybody to come enjoy and use. So if you want to go and take advantage of all the athletic field that they have, the basketball courts, the horseshoe pits, everything that they offer. Or since this is California, if you want to just go and lay a towel down and go sunbathing, a lot of people do that in our public park. Or if you just want to hang out underneath a shady tree on a beautiful day and read a book, yeah, that's right up the alley too. Let me get my business done first and then we'll head straight to the parks. My name is Steve Arthur and I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach area powered by Nationwide Real Estate Executives. Now, if this is our first time meeting here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring those bells so that you will be notified every single time that I do put out a video because I do put out these videos every single week. So today we're gonna cover just the first three parts because I started editing it and it started getting a little bit long so I didn't wanna lose their attention. So let's go cruise over to the first park. So today we're at Bloomfield Park in Lakewood. This is our stop number one at all the Lakewood parks. And these parks were all designed just with family atmosphere in mind. They've got the big playgrounds, they've got the small playgrounds for the little ones. Some have the big pools, some have the small pools. There's a lot to do with these parks. Just come back and relax also. Now the one we're at right now is Bloomfield Park. And I am standing just to the side of the community center. I'll show you. This community center was just funded and it upgraded all the lighting, security, computer systems for the kids. So any day after school, you can find about 30, 40 kids here working, learning, getting involved with the community, doing different things. So for the kids to work on inside there, you have five desktop computers, you have secured internet that is monitored so they can monitor what websites your kids do go on. It has educational software, it has a reading alcove and studying alcove and a variety of games and a 42 inch flat screen TV, which they have World Series parties, Super Bowl parties, all the fun stuff for the kids to enjoy and stay off the streets. Well, in this pool behind me, it's usually filled up for the little ones. Now, you can rent out the community center, you can rent out the athletic fields. So if you wanted to rent out the community center, all it do is cost you $30 per hour if you're a Lakewood resident. Now, if you're not a Lakewood resident, it would cost you $54 per hour. It's a $250 deposit and a $20 processing fee, of course. But with that, you have capacity for 80 people to host whatever type of event that you want to do. And it works out really, really nice here. I've seen a lot of different parties. I've seen bar mitzvahs, quinceañeras, anniversaries, weddings, everything. Now, if you wanted to rent out one of the athletic fields I showed you, so if you want the non-lighted athletic fields, that's going to run you 20 bucks an hour for a Lakewood resident and $35 an hour for a non-resident. If you want the lighted fields, so you guys can come out here and play at night and have a blast, 
That's going to run a Lakewood resident 35 bucks an hour and a non-Lakewood resident 50 bucks an hour. Now, in 2012 is when this park received all this grant money to build the picnic center, the barbecue center, the, the Young Tots playground, and it did a great job. This is why this is a great family-friendly park here in Lakewood. So this here is Rhinoson Park slash Liberty Park. Now it hosts Little League fields, a covered patio, a concrete slab patio with barbecue center. And they have the combined playgrounds for all the ages of the kids. And not to mention the outdoor equipment that they have that's suitable for kids 13 and over. But for the main attraction, let's go head over to the dog park of this park, come on. What is so cool about all of these playgrounds here for the kids, they all have the rubberized mats. Let me show you. So here right behind me, we have the walking trail and there's also some horse prints down there. So coming right down the San Gabriel River, that's where you gotta find them. That'll take you all the way to Seal Beach. So right now we are at the Mark Taper Nature Trail Center, okay? This is four acres of a beautiful private park here in Lakewood. Okay, so I just showed you a couple of scenes. They have a nature trail here, but it's really, really cool about this. You can rent this out for weddings, birthday, quinceaneras, whatever you have in mind. This cottage behind me, it holds 120 people. You have parking for 95 cars. It is just a great venue to host. You have all of that land for the kids to run. And it's just, it's just they've had great, great success here. And for Lakewood residents, that's gonna be $72 an hour to rent this place with a deposit of $250 and of course, and of course that processing fee of 20 bucks. So I hope you found this video helpful. Today we only did one through three. I already have the rest of them shot, so I'm gonna edit those real quick. It was just getting a little long, so I thought I'd start losing some attention. Until next time, you take care.